Here's the core box for Ultra Quest, which is the new Blacklist Games from Sadler Games. And you can see a very exciting cover that you're going to get here. This is a very thick box, as you can tell. There's going to be a lot of content in here. So I've kind of uh, packed this up already and gone through it. But you're going to get a number of these little cardboard chits. They're okay. Very good quality. You're going to have a number of these in different areas just for little tokens that you're going to need. Here are the damage tokens in white and red. So you're going to have any number of these that will be in here. You will also have a story guide, which we'll take a look at now. That will just kind of take you through the story. I'm not going to do any spoilers here, but this is kind of the campaign or the story that you will go through, etc. as you're playing through the game. It's a pretty thick book. Very nice. In addition, you're going to get a rule book, which you can see here. Uh, the rule book is going to be pretty thick. You're going to look at 28 pages, so but it's a pretty easy read. So the first part of it is going to have a, a content. Then you're going to go through the overview of the cards here, which was really handy. And when I was learning the game, I went back to this all the time. So this is really nice that they did this. Then you're going to have setup. It has a little bit of a picture, but not too much. And then you'll see the setup picture over here that will give you a two-player game and give you a good idea of what you should do. But it's very, very simple. And then you go through the gameplay. This is the overview. So this is the entire game right here. And, of course, the rest of the book is going to break this down into a little bit more easy pairing, if you will, as you go through. And how you do the test, etc. as you're flowing through this. And then you're going to see the equipment, the die supply, some other little rules that will go in. And these are like certain circumstances you might have, like how traps work, what happens if you run out of cars, the allies, etc. So this is going to be the campaign. So if you didn't want to do a one-off, you actually want to go through a campaign, this would explain to you how to do that and the upgrade your cards, etc. So that's the rule book for Ultra Quest. You do need to sit down maybe an hour or so with this. I prefer to have the game set up and kind of push things around. That's how I prefer to learn. Uh, but that's the rule book for Ultra Quest. Very good job. Now, one of the things you'll notice when you get this rule book inside, it's going to be kind of plain. Uh, it's very colorful. There's a lot of squares on it. It reminded me a lot of the Hero Quest board, to be honest. So you can see here that it's going to be uh, vaguely familiar. So it's more of a playground that you'll play into. Now there's doors, etc., included on this. So let's scoot it out a little bit, and you can see that there's markings that will go through here. It's got some torches. It's got some really good details to it. This has some crystals or maybe some ice on the side of it. You'll have these locations that will be here that you'll be utilizing. Uh, when you're placing things out, these shadows will be well places where the bad guys will come out because they're kind of hiding in the shower shadows. But the board will look more and more attractive as you get more things on top of it. So let's talk about some of the cards. You can see here the cards are really nice quality. I do like the uh, artwork quite a bit. It's a fungi patch, weapon rack. You can kind of see that. They kind of have this slick feeling to them, and I like these cards quite a bit. So let's put the box down here since we're doing an unboxing. You'll be using these stairs quite a bit. These are cardboard stairs. You're going to have any number of dice. So you're going to have two sets of custom dice that you'll be utilizing during the game. You're going to have the, the more translucent blue and then the black die. And these are custom. They have uh, nothing on here, but there are six-sided die. And you're going to get quite a few of those in here. This down here are going to be all your cards. This, this is the uh, system that came with it. So I'm going to kind of turn this a little bit. I'm not going to go through all of these, but you do have like uh, six cards, seven sets of cards here of different missions you can go on. So this will be the deck if you're familiar with the system. I'm just going to show you the escape. It's the one that I've spent a lot of time in. And I'll just kind of show you how it works just a little bit here as we unbox it. You're going to have a kind of a setup and a story. Then you'll flip this over and this will be utilized during the game, in particular the activate. And then you're going to have a bunch of these cards that will be shuffled up that you'll be using. Now these sneaking cards will be given to each of the players for this one in particular, but you'll have these extra cards that will go through here and uh, events and things that might pop up. So those will be story-wise. And you're gonna get quite a few of those in here. You're gonna get, in the core game, you're gonna get one, two, three, four different uh, characters, and I'll show you all the miniatures, but you're gonna have, uh, let's rescue. But the character's gonna get, let's start with Rowan, he's one of my favorite ones. Uh, you're gonna get a deck, so have your picture on the back of it, and they'll have all the little things that he's done. If you played Brook City, it's very, very familiar of what you're going to be doing here. I do really like the artwork in this game. Whoever they got doing the artwork, I'm a big fan of. I think it just looks really, really, really good. Uh, as you can see here, this one's more of like a Hobbit type, if you will. So let me show you another one. So that's Rowan. I do like playing with him quite a bit. He's one of my favorite ones. Now let's take a look at Saturn. You can see it has his picture on the back, so you can easily tell which ones are his. And then he does more of like a magic thing. So you're going to have your character stat sheet here with the health and all the stats that you'll need uh, with his picture on the back. Uh, but this will be kind of out on front. And then these cards you'll be playing down 
in front of you to do different things. Uh, and there'll be tests on these, which we'll get to later, but that's kind of what they look like. You can kind of see the artwork on that. So you're going to get four of those characters. You're also going to get uh, Quella. Let's take a look at her really fast. You can see Quella here. And then she'll have her stats and then her card. So uh, she does a little bit of magic also. Different fields of magic, as you can tell. And you'll have fun like mixing these characters together on who you like working together. Uh, this next one is one of my favorites also. I like playing the Barbarian Warrior types, which is going to be uh, Marin. So let's pull her out really fast. And you can see her stats, which should be in here. Uh, Battle Lust. Now she's going to be more of the warrior type, which is the one I like to do. Blighting Distance and Furious Arc and all those kind of things. Once again, the artwork works really good. I like some of these action shots they have. I just think they look really good in this set. Uh, look at that Deval Warcry. I just really like that on top of it. A spiked shield that she has. Oh yeah, you're going to enjoy that. So that's uh, Moran. A quick look at her. And you're going to have any number of villains. You're going to get three villains. Blox, Gert, and Wanora. And they're going to have a small deck of cards, which will always have the picture of... So here's Gert that you'll see. And then they'll have their character card, just like the heroes. But these are going to be like the big bosses, if you will. You can kind of see them there. This pig artwork is just fantastic. I really like it quite a bit. So there's going to be three different bosses that you're going to get here. That is Gert. And you're going to have Wynora Morn, which is going to be her. And she'll also have her little sheet. She's a villain. Uh, and she has a little baby with her. Look at that. Yeah, but she's ready. That's a really cool picture there. Just ready to pounce. And there's the baby crawling terror. Fantastic, right? Nothing better than that. And then this is the guy, Bulks, the one you probably start with. At least I did. Mr. Frogman. He's huge, by the way. Uh, oh, these are Bulks. They're in the wrong one. So uh, you'll go through this guy also. Um, and then you're going to have the Thralls, Frogs, and Raglanders, which kind of work more like in my regards, more like henchmen, if you will. So this is going to be a group of them. You're going to see a gargoyle. There'll be minions made up. Crimson Courtier. Feral Mother. Banner of Morn, which is a traps. Traps are going to be new in this one. And an event of endless thirst. They can already sell the vampires are definitely coming out there. Let's take a look at frocks. These are going to be the frog people that will come out. Now, these are ones I've, I've played with a lot. You get the Muck Slinger, the events. So these little frogs will be jumping around, battling, setting traps, etc. So each time you play, you can mix and match the heroes with the bosses and the villains, etc. to get something that you may like. Here are the Raglanders. You can see that through there. Uh, they're going to have some minions like the Ragot Cannibal. You're going to have the Raglan Brooder. It's a female character. Raglan Burner. Okay. And then some traps and events also that will come up. Ooh, an odor. They must stink really bad. Uh, you're going to have some enemy upgrade cards that will be in here. Some altar cards and allies. And then you're going to have your campaign pool for your journal back there. So the cards are really good quality. I had no problem with them. But this might be why you're here. This is going to be all the miniatures that are going to be in here. I'll take my time and go through this. If there's doubles or something, I'll just let you know. Otherwise, I'll show you each piece that's in here.